Heights. Late this afternoon, a judge sentenced Tim Ferreter to five years in prison. The Jupiter man was convicted of locking his adopted teenage son in a box-like structure in his garage. WPTV's Dave Bowman was in the courtroom when Ferreter was sentenced. He joins us now live this evening. Dave. Honey, inside this courtroom this afternoon, Tim Ferreter's lawyer argued he should only do one year behind bars. Prosecutors asked for 15. And in the end, the judge gave the convicted child abuser a little bit of leniency, sentencing him to less time than what sentence guidelines call for. As prosecutors presented their case for sentencing, they called the teenage victim to testify. The boy's voice quivered as he addressed his stepfather, who had been convicted of beating him and locking him up as punishment. In a prepared statement, he read out loud, quote, I wish you never did these things you did to me, and I feel sad, but I feel forgiveness. He also asked the court to sentence Ferreter to just six months behind bars. Prosecutors argued for a stiff prison term, noting Ferreter beat the child, locked him in a box in a garage with no air conditioning, and left him a pail for a toilet. Tim Ferreter broke down as he addressed the court and the son he's convicted of abusing. I love you, I love you always, and please know that you'll always be my boy. This case remains far from over. Tim Ferreter's wife actually faces charges herself, though no trial date has been set. And Tim Ferreter's lawyer says she plans to appeal the sentencing. Reporting live from the courthouse in downtown West Palm Beach, Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.